Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Cyberpunk video. Now, in this video, I'd like to share with you how to level up your stealth fast. And while I was preparing for this video, I figured out another cool method which kind of adds up and it's absolutely mind blowing. So, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to love this video. So, let's start wasting time and jump right into the video. Alright, now in this video, as I've mentioned, I'm going to be talking about on how to level up uh, stealth. So, there are two methods. Uh, one is focused only on stealth, and the other one is focused on getting a lot of loot, experience, and you can level up a whole bunch of other stuff. And I figured that out while I was preparing for this video. So basically, this morning, my stealth was like 9 or 10, something in this area, and I couldn't figure out what. I, what is the best method on leveling stealth, right? I mean, I was always sneaking and doing damage, sneak damage, nobody find me, and still that thing was going very, very slowly. Until I actually grabbed someone, broke his neck, and I noticed, oh man, that's a lot of XP. And then I remember, yo, quick hacks. <laughs> that's a good combo. So first of all, I want to display something for you. Uh, first of all, these two methods you will do in this area right here, right here. It's part of my route where I usually did all the runs, but now I have a total much better. I don't even have to run anywhere. Uh, you're going to love this. Just just bear with me here one second, right? So, essentially, uh, you will need this sniper rifle. Unfortunately, I really do not remember uh, where I got it, but I YouTubed it, and there are a lot of videos naming, uh, telling you where you can find that blueprint. So, the sniper rifle is Ashura. Uh, basically, if just just so you know, I'm playing on very hard difficulty, and uh, this gun can only be crafted. So essentially, you will need the capability of crafting um, what do you call it? Legendary options, uh, legendary version, right? So Ashura. Uh, it's a smart sniper rifle where you don't even have to aim and lance headshots like crazy. And as you can see, uh, uh, one sec here, stats. As you can see, I'm not even specialized in assault rifles, but I'm still doing uh, like 15k plus damage. So, uh, let's get started. So, uh, there are going to be a couple of enemies right here. They always respawn, and I'm going to uh, show you something real quick. Like, for instance, oh, I already killed them. So, this is another part that you will need to know. You will need to run to this building, right, as close as you can, then turn back, and they will respawn. So it's part of how you can get this done. So what my point is, uh, shoot this guy, and we'll need to pay attention to how much stealth we will level up while killing three enemies. So there's going to be a total of three enemies over there, right? I'm gonna, not going to touch the rest. In, in reality, uh, there's three enemies over there, about four I think over there, another three behind the building, and another three over there and they all respawn as soon as you get to this point. Oh, crap. My bad. I didn't pay attention on uh, how much uh, stealth we got. But it, was, it wasn't it was a huge um, amount of number. So that's one enemy. That's two enemy. And that's three enemy. Stealth. 190 for three enemies, right? Plus you get cold blood and essentially you get uh, the assault rifle, it's all good. So that's one way. Because there's a lot of enemies, uh, you can level up stealth pretty easy just by sniping everybody. So another way how I used to personally level up stealth was using quick hacks, right? So I would walk up there, slam them with poison. Oh wait, I could have just done uh, also another move over here. Boom, blow them up. But I'm still in stealth, so as you can see, let's make him go blind, who cares? Stealth, 137. Why aren't you dying, man? Call blood. And do we get any more stealth? And 200. So that's 300 something. So quick hacks are already better. But there is another method, uh, another method that you can use. And by the way, 
uh, as I said, a lot of loot, right? <laughs> you're gonna love this as well. Uh, but that's if uh, you're not focusing on like 100% stealth, stealth uh, farming. But if you want to farm everything, then I would suggest using sniper rifles. I'll show you my entire run once I bring you to the point on what I'm doing here. So let's take these three uh, targets. So first what I usually do is I blind them so they don't spot me. Then I'll use the, uh, the cripple. And then I will just run up and grab. Break the neck, 188. Break the neck, 188. Ah, get up from this car. Ah, oh, you stupid cockroach. So basically, if you get to kill her as well, it's gonna be 188. And uh, the way I would do it is just between these two towers. So basically, I would use uh, those three targets over there and these three targets over here. And I would break their necks and run back forth, back forth, back forth. Because they uh, respawn. So let's go in this mode. By the way, there's a net runner over there as well. So to if you want to focus on leveling up your stealth, then I would recommend breaking necks. <laughs> but essentially, you will also need some legendary quick hacks. Uh, and that would be the... Cyberware, where is my operation system? I actually prefer also this operation system. It goes for 45k plus. And uh, the two cripple movement and the reboot optics. First use the reboot optics and then use the cripple movement because if you blind them and they have a gun they will still start shooting left and right and you can get killed. Like on very hard difficulty like two bullets and you're done. Especially if you're not uh, like a body build or whatever. So that could be pretty dangerous. And then you come here and start breaking necks. <laughs> So as you can see, 188 experience per neck break broken. Boom. Then since we already did this, we go back <coughs> to that place over there because they should have already respawned by now. They didn't leave the area. There they go. So they're back. So you use the you use the optics again. Reboot optics. Wait for all the optics yeah. to get through. Because if you start using this one ASAP, uh, it might interrupt and not all of them gonna get blind or crippled. And you break next. <laughs> Simple as that. Okay. Break me. Ah, come on, chica. There you go. Break neck. There we go. So you get the point. Breaking necks gives a lot more experience. Well, in my opinion and what I found out and what I tested, this is the best way to uh, get stealth. So you break necks over here, break necks over there, and come back, and back. So you're just running in circles, and that's in, like, you, you can, it, it's in minutes, right? So 188 XP per enemy, you can do a lot. But, uh, using the sniper rifle, you're getting less, but... But there's a tons of enemies here, so you can still get a decent amount of XP. And on top of everything, you get a lot of uh, cold blood. That's of course if you, have, as far as I know, it cold blood. Um, don't get just me granted for here, but I might be wrong. But cold blood works only if you at least have one of the um, cold blood things activated. So when you kill, the cold blood gets triggered, and that's how cold blood, uh, I guess, goes. You know, I haven't really digged into it. this was like this is one of the most easiest things to level so uh, now with the sniper rifle essentially as I said you will need this one right here that's the one I prefer it's a Shura uh, legendary smart it you, you don't even have to aim it just can, kills and you've seen my build my build is not sniper rifle but I think with any sniper rifle this will work uh, but I would still recommend the smart because you pretty much don't waste time in aiming for the headshot. You just shoot and the thing dies. <laughs> uh, as I said, just YouTube search uh, 
the blueprint for Ashura and there's a tons of videos out there that you can take a look. I really can't remember. I might gonna have to replay my character and try to f make videos on schematics like legendary schematics and stuff like that. You know, maybe I'll do that. Uh, comment down below if you'd like, if you want me to do that, because I don't know. A lot of people already covered that, so I'm not sure if I should do it. But anyway, so with a sniper rifle, let's go. The beauty, of, the beauty of the sniper rifle is, especially the Ashura, right? You just kill them from far distance, right? And the other good thing is, you don't even have to go and pick up the loot. As you saw, uh, me coming close to the area, there was a lot of loot. So I probably did like, uh, f like five or six rounds like this before I actually started recording. So there's a lot of loot already. But imagine doing this for like an hour or so. But I would still recommend because you know this this game sometimes lost to crash. I, I haven't crashed personally, so. I'm I'm not sure if the loot gets like disappeared if you crash crash, but not to risk it, pick up the loot because this place drops a lot of uh, purplish uh, like gear that you can dismantle and get the uh, purple materials for crafting. Like I, I don't like cheating, like duping and stuff like that, so I grind for my stuff and this is now my favorite spot of all to grind for loot. Oh man, 160k? <laughs> oh no wait, maybe maybe I glitched out. Maybe, maybe that was uh, 16k. Or was it 100? So then you shoot these guys. And this area is actually loaded with enemies. There are enemies over there. There are enemies over there. Uh, but now, since I found that respawn location, which is that safe, safe house guard over there, uh, the house, right? Uh, he was just standing there. <laughs> so they will respawn. So once I'm done killing these three guys over here, I'll run back to that uh, lifeguard safeguard house. I, I, I don't know how it's called in English correctly. I am from Ukraine, so sometimes I mispronounce stuff, or I don't know how to na uh, name something. So I do apologize for that. A little inconvenience. Easy. Right? This game is actually very easy. You don't really even need a build. It's just so easy. And, basically, you just run back. Actually, you know what? Well, let me show you the loot. You see? There's a whole bunch of loot over here. I haven't been picking things up. It's just lying around here, which I'm gonna pick up uh, once I'm done with this video. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, I told you, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Very hard difficulty, cockroach. Don't pay for that. Boom. Stop. So you pretty much run back to that house over there. And they all respawn. And you just keep doing it. it. Well, you don't really have to jump on the roof. I, I just kind of like got used to it. And you repeat. And keep going. <laughs> Simple as that. It's absolutely crazy. Now I don't even need to do my, uh, you know, best routines for farming. Maybe I will for, like, because enemies, like, as far as I've noticed, <clears throat> they drop outfits, the ones, they have a chance of dropping an outfit, the one that they're wearing. And maybe some, sometimes something random. But, I notice like if I'm killing Osaka, I get the Osaka vest, outfits, and stuff like that. If I kill Militech, I get Militech with the soldier outfits and stuff like that. So, there's still a couple of things I'm testing around before I actually record. Uh, but so far, I think this is the best thing <laughs> I came up with. And the funny part, I wanted to show you the break neck <laughs> started testing to be a little bit more accurate I'm like damn man this is even better <laughs> I mean look at that nine almost 1000 cold blood like this is absolutely insane no it was 150k I just did 146k damage sweet oh that's because I landed a headshot Oh my god, man, this sniper rifle is crazy, man. And you don't even have to aim. <laughs> this game is all about, man, uh, wall hack and aimbot <laughs> already in the game. <laughs> uh, 
first time I'm actually enjoying this. <laughs> it's crazy. But you get the point, right? So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Found it useful. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them. Nobody can read them. Nobody can respond to them. So, if you want your comments to be read, feel free to comment. The only request that I have is just don't swear. Simple as that. And if you want to join our Discord, feel free to do so. The link is down in the video description along with any other links that you may find of use. And once again, thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. And don't forget to hit that like. Maybe share it with a friend because this is probably, like, I mean, one of the good, good tips and tricks, I hope. <laughs> anyway, Z-Clan and everybody else, thanks all for watching. You all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys lock it in. And I'll see you on the next episode. I gotta finish all this looting. It's crazy. <laughs> From the ashes we rule.